They find it hard to believe, but two of the most dangerous neighborhoods in the country are right here in central Indiana. Uh, this is from a new report with two Hoosier neighborhoods in the top 25. Our TV6 reporter Ebony Monet joins us live from one of those neighborhoods that you might even be taking your kids into. Ebony? That's right, Erica. We're here right across from the Children's Museum, and it happens to be in one of the neighborhoods that has made this list, but we reached out to public safety officials who say the numbers can be misleading. Just north of downtown Indianapolis, many people know this area for its dinosaurs, not necessarily for murders and violent crime. It's really scary. I mean, I know the world's definitely changing a lot. I mean, even in our neighborhood. The intersection of 30th and Illinois Street sits on the southern edge of one of two Indianapolis neighborhoods ranked in the top 25 most dangerous by NeighborhoodScout.com. In the morning when I get here and it's dark, I'm, I'm looking over my shoulder a little bit. Short Ridge Magnet High School sits on the northern border of this area. I notice there's a lot of people walking around, homeless people, maybe drug addicts, I don't know, but I, I feel pretty safe. The other north side neighborhood making this list is an area west of Interstate 65 between 30th Street and the White River. Both communities share the 46208 zip code. Indianapolis Metro Police say this zip code accounts for 40% of the city's homicides. An overwhelmingly amount of time uh, those people know each other in some way, so stranger violent crime is, is really more rare. Indianapolis's Department of Public Safety releases its own crime statistics. In fact, anyone can pull them up online. It shows within the last three months there have been 45 crimes against people reported within a quarter mile radius of here. It's an area police say they're watching but say most people during most hours are safe. At various hours during the day, so not necessarily during the normal operating hours of a business or the Children's Museum or anything else. Uh, so a lot of these crimes occur very late at night. Now we reached out to leaders at the Children's Museum and the operations director called me and told me that the crime on the property is at an all time low and they say that there is 24 hour security there at all times and they say it's working. Reporting just north of downtown, Ebony Monet, RTV6.